stress affects the body at different levels and it will increase catecholamines. You recently saw on the website, you know, where, where I was interviewed and we talked about stress-induced cardiomyopathy, Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. So stress and adrenaline can actually damage the walls of the heart and can cause broken heart syndrome or Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. Stress on a chronic basis, you know, like if people are stressed all the time, will lead to high blood pressure. Now what does high blood pressure do? It will lead to stroke and heart attack. So the analogy I've made is if you have a plumbing, right, like you built a house um, and the, you know, it says, well, this pressure pipe is good for 10 PSI. Now if you run 20 PSI of pressure, what's going to happen? It's going to slowly get, you know, it's, it's going to explode. If it's like 50, then it will explode. And that's how stroke happens. People get really high blood pressure. The artery explodes and, 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 and they get a hemorrhagic stroke. Or on a slower basis, if, if the pressure is not enough to explode it, it corrodes it faster. So people get atherosclerosis and plaque buildup and blockages in their, in their arteries of their brain and, and, and their heart. And so they get, you know, um, stroke or heart attack from that so that's how stress on a chronic basis you know can lead to a chronic problem like stroke or heart attack and there's constant information overload and people are asking us all these questions you know throwing do this do that um, you know then then um, but but I don't think they get it and and once they start understanding the, the, the risk factors and how their heart works my hope you know that's my mission my hope is that they will automatically feel empowered and they'll feel more engaged because they will start interpreting the same information that you hear on info commercials and all that with a different consciousness and you'll be able to you know make better decisions for yourself